Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about Hyzone Motors. Uh, it's a company which recently completed its SPAC merger with uh, DCRB and it's not doing the best as in terms of its stock price and I think it's a perfect opportunity to step in and go with this electric hydrogen future uh, with trucks as well as well as vehicles. So what is Hyzone and what does it do exactly? It's, I'm going to be explaining that in this video and its stock action where it is at 6.78 is up. 52 week high was actually 19.95 so it is down so I'll tell you what happened um, when the deal was announced it popped back in the hype of all these uh, EVs and hydrogen based vehicles and it went to 19 and once this merger was done completed it could finally fall under 10 and it's come to 6.75 without any news so um, I hope you guys read this quote it's a nice quote I found from the CEO who was on an interview with uh, Bloomberg's host and now this is their website Hi Hyzon and they have their European headquarters in Groningen it's a place in the Netherlands where I lived and um, here are some of their vehicles uh, it's one of the biggest competitors to um, Nikola and it's already making these vehicles Nikola hasn't made a single truck yet to sell these guys have been selling the trucks in South Korea and more places in Europe and uh, they believe that the true way to go uh, away from fossil fuels is hydrogen for these uh, heavy trucks, heavyweight trucks. And this here is their CEO and this are some of their other teams. So basically what happened is there was another co company in Australia and they de spac sort of from them, but they took this uh, vision from them and it's been 20 years of um, collaboration with these people and they have their own core technologies and their own, um, let's say, technology that they have. And they've been developing more technology as well. And they've been applying patents as well to their technology. Um, their Q2 earnings call will be on August 11th, 2021. Um, and that's a crucial day to see what will happen. And I'm going to be listening to this one. It's going to be a really nice call, in my opinion, to get to know the team. It's going to be the first one since their IPO. So all this information you can find on their investor relations and I've pulled up their uh, presentation, their PowerPoint presentation when they were going public and let's just have a quick lead of what's in this presentation. Okay, so what I can see from this is their management team. They've got people from GM, Ford, and their CEO is from Horizon and that's the company they split apart from, I believe. And that's existed since 20 years, so that's very nice. Um, they have more experience here from Holthausen, and um, let's go more down. So this is a bit more information about these people. Yes, so this is what we can see over here. The solar cost is going down, the battery cost is going down, and global electric cars being sold are going up, uh, which is very nice to see actually. These are all forecasts. I'm not a big fan of all these forecasts and what their expected numbers are because, of course, these are pretty much made up. And this is just to bring some enthusiasm in the company. I would never really trust these numbers fully, but it's important that the management do try to achieve the numbers. But a lot of the times, they're not going to be able to achieve it. Or sometimes they might. Sometimes they might go over them if they're doing really good. So this is their bull case for hydrogen and why you need this for all this heavy weight and why electric trucks just won't work. So here are some of their factories in Detroit and Michigan. Mm, I think I skipped the page, right? Oh no, I'm good, I'm good. Sorry, it's just a bit laggy right now. So they have it in Rochester, three factories in the US and one in the Netherlands and one in Saudi Arabia. Mm. Here's the demand. So these are some of these pages where I'm not that interested in. I'm more interested in the numbers. Let's find the numbers. All right, so these are their partners. And so they've delivered already 500 vehicles at 2020. And most of these companies hadn't done any of them. So that's really good. This tells you that Hyzone is the leader in its space. And uh, Nikola has all the hype. It went to $90. I don't see why Nikola has a hype. Even Trevor Milton, their CEO, went to jail. So that makes no sense to me. 
So that's the presentation. Not the best. The presentation is a lot of projections. Um, if you guys have the time, I would read through these projections. But definitely looking to their earnings on 11th of August and what's the date today? It's I think the 3rd of August, so another week and from now, exactly a week and one day, and we're gonna see then if it's worth holding on. But 6.78 is a very nice price uh, to buy this at. And I think it's the future and you're gonna need to go away from fossil fuels. So if you want an investment away from fossil fuels for the future, this is one company I would definitely, definitely look into. All right, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.